Hi, I'm Dr. Khuram Shokat Yusufzai from Pakhtunkhwa Interesting Channel. Today's video is about the new SUV, which is a compact crossover launching in Pakistan known as Proton X70 Executive All Wheel Drive. It has a dual clutch transmission, wet kind and it is powered by 1.5 liter 1500 cc turbo tgdi engine which is developed jointly by geely volvo and proton this engine is also found in some of the volvo and the geely model for example the geely ascara is actually same as the proton x70 the Proton X70 is actually the right-hand drive cousin of Geely Ascara and it is manufactured in Malaysia and it was introduced uh, two years ago in Malaysia and now the assembling of Proton X70 has begun in Pakistan under the new auto policy. So this is a beautiful uh, crossover SUV and it's an all-wheel drive version and it has beautiful leather seats speedometer also with android and apple phone connectivity it has uh, six airbags for safety and uh, the uh, it's a unibody construction which give you uh, which gives its its safety and rigidity it is uh, Equipped with a lot of safety system called ADAS with autonomous braking uh, lane departure system as well as uh, uh, adaptive cruise control and has intelligent high beam control which when detects a car actually uh, dims the light and the gear is a DCT uh, which is a dual clutch transmission and this is the prices of the two variants uh one variant this is the lower variant which is an all-wheel drive version in white color and the upper variant is a front wheel drive only with a lot of premium features including music system and uh, a lot of other uh, features which uh, gives premium value to the premium version the executive all-wheel uh, drive version doesn't have a sunroof although it has cameras in its uh, side mirrors and uh, it's elevated from the ground it gives them uh, more than 175 millimeter of clearance and it's wide enough as other suvs introduced in pakistan like the sportage uh, kia sportage and the hyundai tucson and the mg and it is at par with them and it uh, has 18 inch alloy rims which are beautiful to look at and from behind it looks like a bit of fortuner and from the sides it has a distinctive look it is equipped with the automatic tailgate which opens up if you come near to it or you use your foot to wave at it it has a 220 volt electric supply system at the back. The capacity of the boot is about 510 liters. It has a spare wheel. Um, the jacks and the tools are also present uh, in the vehicle. There's ample space and the seats fold down to make a bed where one can also lie down there is a divider to hide the contents of the uh, boot with just a flick of a switch you can close the automatic uh, you know uh, tailgate the car has ample soundproofing and the engine is a three cylinder uh, which is a bit uh, different engine although it's used by the Volvo in its SUVs and uh, the uh, back has dual uh, real 
exhaust which works it's not like the fake ones in the inside the display it's in the center it's uh, quite enough and there are LED lights and there are places for spectacles and the LED is intelligent control like you can speak and it can pick up your words and do it like if you say hi proton to it you can control the multimedia and the different things on this speedometer with the steering MID controls and there are enough LED lights and uh, USBs and things to uh, pockets and things to hold the thing and there are AC vents at the back and there is an air purification system uh, of N95 level the door handles are very beautiful there are six speakers for the uh, stereo the seats are leather and they are ventilated seats you know uh, with the air conditioning they can warm you they are light for the, at the doors the gear lever is comfortable and beautiful and there is actually a shiny metallic like uh, garnish uh, in the front and there is a bit of uh, soft leather like look on the top of the dashboard So let's uh, take this Proton X70 all-wheel drive for a dr for a spin. It just picks up speed because of the DCT. The drive is just like the manual, and the shifting is smooth. And the engine, uh, it's a bit noisy as compared to Kia Sportage and Hyundai Tucson. Just like the MG was a bit uh, noisy. Uh, maybe the dual exhaust at the back are producing a sound. But the ride was comfortable SUV like and one couldn't feel the bumps and the car was stable and uh, it's, it's really a good uh, vehicle as you can see the handling in the on the road uh, it can st start and stop uh, it has four wheel drift brakes uh, which are good for stopping the car although this vehicle was driven about 40,000 kilometers but its performance was good you know there were no rattle or shakes in the car and it it reached 100 kilometers very quickly uh, effortlessly although there was no uh, high octane fuel uh, inside the vehicle but its performance was good like people say that for a turbo vehicle you always need a high octane uh, fuel but I think it was good enough the turning radius is a bit uh, wide as compared to Kia Sportage and Hyundai Tucson but it was uh, good good enough for the car, for the vehicle of this size and then it immediately uh, picked up speed comfortably and it gave uh, a, a sense of uh, protection and for daily driving it's really good and even for light off-roading like if you're going on a snow or a sand this all-wheel drive version is very helpful although it's not uh, as uh, a, a SUV like like a Land Cruiser or a Vigo um, Hilux Vigo but it's a compact crossover so you can use it uh, for daily use which is the 90% 99% of the time you will be doing it on the normal roads but sometimes you know when you are off-road you require a bit of off-roading and this vehicle is equipped for that so you can take it on sand snow or muddy roads and it will take it effortlessly so that's a plus point and this is a lower priced version as compared to the one which is the premium version which has only the front wheels to drive here are the specifications of uh, this vehicle all about the engine body and the transmission i hope you can pause and look at it uh, and uh, read about it whatever you want to know and i hope you like my video and i hope you subscribe to my video channel for more such 
uh, wonderful videos and I hope to see you soon. So take care. Goodbye.